Red Feather Productions is an extremely serious organisation with absolutely no silliness or worms anywhere. Click. Okay, is him having a crush on Tango Tech the vibe for a full take or... Click. Get back to the statement already. I want to know what happens. <laughs> what happens? Give me Please. information to eat. Me. I'm a hungry, I'm hungry boy. I'm so hungry. I need my information. <laughs> yummy, yummy. Literally me right now. Did not have dinner. <laughs> Eating the statement. Just forgetting to eat before this was actually like getting into character. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's funny, I only ate half my food. My I, I had I have chicken nuggets and fries and I ate all my fries and the chicken nuggets are just sitting there waiting. Click. Yeah, Etho fully just wrote this one off as don't go into weird don't go don't go into don't go into meetings with strangers you've met on the internet. Normal, be normal, go away. <laughs> <laughs> Etho wrote it off as that one's on you, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I don't That's care that you show your personality. You met up with a random guy on the internet. What were you expecting? <laughs> Like, at least you didn't get axe murdered, but this is also still pretty fucking bad, dude. <laughs> yeah. This is the true danger. Not the axe murdering. The personality yeah. being juice. <laughs> get, get juiced, idiot. <laughs> Click. I was like, what? Like, it was his website. It had had- There's a train. That's so rude. Click. I love the idea that Jevin just wa- just like got this cold call and just immediately started telling him about like all the people who go into Cleo's house. <laughs> He's like, oh my god, no, so many people go in there and then they don't come back and it's really fucking weird, dude. Click. Bigby should turn into the sun. Bigby should turn into the sun. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but like, if Bigby turned into the sun, Grian can't stare at him anymore without going blind? And he's already really upset about almost going blind because of Cleo making him look at the sun. What do we think that Big V would be worth it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> he's his most special little boy. Click. I'm just thinking about Gria and just... <laughs> <laughs> That's what he sounds like! <laughs> If I could have been non-murderous, maybe I could have met him. If I could have just kept it under wraps or maybe have been smarter about murder, but I didn't know how to be smart about murder, so I had to quit school. I could have met him. (laughs) (laughs) The fucking uncontrollable murderous urges. Mess with my ability to (laughs) hang your head. (laughs) Killing people really ruined my life. Not because of jail time or anything, I just didn't meet Tangle Tech. Click. Despite the fact this is really interesting, and from anyone else, he would absolutely want this statement. Like, oh, but it's my statement. Why do I need to give a statement? I don't know what happened. I don't get any food from this. Girl. <laughs> I want proper food. Get absolutely fucked, Grian. Uh, let's record. <laughs> <laughs> Jen? Stress? What on earth are you two doing here? Don't play. Oh. Hmm. And why wasn't I invited? Of course you were. Didn't you get the messenger beetles we sent you? Oh, yeah, I suppose I did. But I also got an exterminator. Well, you're here now, aren't you, love? Hey, want to see how fast a thousand bugs can polish off a decomposing corpse? Oh, I, uh, I actually have to go right now. Oh, that's a shame. I really miss seeing you around here. You're such a pig. Uh, great seeing ya. Oh, Christ. Here. Girls night. Ah. What's the deal with bathroom penis? Click. Yeah, but no, how I much like how much of him needs to disintegrate before he crosses that threshold? Hmm. That's, That's a good question. question. Sli- slime of Achilles? Can Theseus. Jevin do mitosis? Slime of Theseus. Oh my gosh. Slime of Theseus. <laughs>
<laughs> my toast is Jevin would be fun. Two Jevins. Um, two Jevins. Two Jevins <laughs> on a line. Cleo would regret it. <laughs> it makes a little army of slimes. Click. Well, maybe I should just move in with false symmetry and get my head chopped off or something. Click. Uh, camera obscure and then run away from Martin very fast. <laughs> I'm gonna be so scared. <laughs> it is time for Frighten. He is the most terrifying Minecraft YouTuber. Not because he's actually scary, just because he could perceive us at any woman. He could! But hey, he I don't know how to stop him. The running doesn't have to happen for a little bit, because it doesn't get posted for a little bit. But... We have but some buffer time before we need to start, like, running for the hills and just hiding. <laughs> We're just trying to get a head start right now. <laughs> yeah. Click. Mumbo ASMR, five hours. <laughs> Mumbo listens Mumbo to your give a out. <laughs> Mumbo, Mumbo stresses out over your evil aura. Over five hours. <laughs> over your bad vibes. <laughs> Mumbo hates your vibes, five hours. Click. I didn't even find any sign of Tango Tech in the library. Not a thing. And it's making me want to punch a bear. <laughs> Click. Do you promise? Yes, I promise. Click. Listen, Tango. <laughs> this is all very impressive. Do you... Do you... Do you take any constructive criticism click me when i'm double cheeked up on a hermit archives monday as the scarchival assistant <laughs> click yeah he, need, he needs as many fucked up boyfriends as he can get <laughs> the archives are his own personal dating app <laughs> fta is actually a dating sim who needs tinder when you have the archives click I would just like to point out that technically, all of this is Mumbo's fault. <laughs> <laughs> you would say that, wouldn't you? Like, I mean, technically, we can trace everything back to him. <laughs> He's the one that Green was going to visit. He's the one that got hired at the archives. Like, why'd he do that? Click. Scar, good times? Archival assistant, Scar good times. Stupid, idiot, clumsy, smug, motherfucker, Scar good times. Cheshire cat, bastard, supernaturally incompetent, cucked by the narrative, biggest clown in the circus, laughed out of town, Disney ass, Scar good times. Stop pinning me when I talk about Scar from the Hermit Archives. I hate him so much. Why can't he die like a normal person? Who invited him to Green's personal hell? How in the name of Smirks 14 did he get from that murder arena in the middle of nowhere to the Void Institute just so he could torment Green even more? He is dead and he is a bastard and I so dearly wish he would stay that way. But no, he keeps coming back and making his stupid immature imbecilic infuriating jokes about it just to rub it in my face, just to taunt me with the knowledge that from the archives will never be rid of him. Archival assistant. More like assistant. I don't even know why I hate him so much. He sounds and speaks exactly like my beloved YouTuber, Good Times with Scar, and yet he is not him. I've listened to End Condition five times in a row, clenching my fist and seething with rage just for the satisfaction of hearing his death. But even that satisfaction is taken away from me. Who allowed Scar to get out of death? free with no penalty, no price, and no major karmic drawbacks whenever he wants. He has to be evil. It's the only explanation. If the Scarchival assistant isn't evil, then why is he a little bitch? Why did he gaslight the archivist? Even Elias had the decency to apologize for the deception. <laughs> I understand why the universe is constantly trying to kill Scar. This man inspires so much primal violence and rage that if I were in red light, green light, I would have killed him before Green even got the chance. Except it wouldn't have made any difference to the story because he would have responded and then sat on the sidelines giggling with his quirky little ah ah laugh while the pre-archivist Green stabbed me to death with his murder knife. I don't even care because killing the assistant would have been worth it. 
I am not breathing. I am hyperventilating. If Scar is not revealed to have evil motives in the remaining few statements from, from the archives, I will reject canon and write my own ending in which everything is actually his fault and he gets punched in the dick about it. I will ha probably have to rewrite the entire AU to do it, but I don't care. I'll write 50 statements and they'll all be about how much I hate him and it still won't be enough because no mortal number of words could contain the burning hatred I feel for the man who doesn't die when he is killed. <laughs> Click. I need to know what beef is short for. What, like, what does this guy think beef is short for? Be Beethany? <laughs> Beethany. <laughs> Beethan. Beethan. <laughs> <laughs> Beefatrice. Beefolomew. <laughs> I also love how this guy just immediately jumps to it being short for something instead of just being a weird nickname. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's yeah. gotta like apply directly to his real name, obviously. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah obviously. Be, it's gotta be a nickname for a real name. Like, why? Why else would you go by beef? <laughs> it's not like nicknames can have origins outside of your actual name. Mm -mm. No. No, never. Of course not. No. No, certainly not. Click. Well, howdy there, partner. This wonderful world of hermits and crafting ain't big enough for the two of us. <laughs> Oops. Click. Yes. I love, I fucking love the, you know how sometimes when you do something stupid? <laughs> I agree, and I'm sure you do. You know, you know when you do something like absolutely stupid? You know when you do something that's just bad decision? Hey man, can anyone relate to like doing stupid things? Hey archival hey, staff, quick question. Are you stupid as me? You know when you just fuck it up? <laughs> <laughs> Click. And uh, that fruit wouldn't be able to- I why did I say fruit? <laughs> and uh, that fruit wouldn't be able to catch up to her in time and she'd actually run up. I hate life. <laughs> Sorry. Click. The fact that we haven't even gotten to the murder rant yet is a little bit funny. <laughs> the murder rant is literally the first section this is, that I... Like... Oh no, yeah, it's, um, the murder rant is in two sections. <laughs> it's, it's like a decent <laughs> chunk of the way down, you know? <laughs> this statement is just so long. It is. Green was like, let me talk about killing people for as long as possible. Yeah, he doesn't want to shut up about killing people, it's great. Um... This, 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 he loves the talking third about life it. Energy. The, the, all the third life statements except camera obscura are just long as fuck. Click. I feel like in this in this sentence, um, he's like a little bit confused about why he felt this, but mostly he's just feeling it again. Like, come on, come on. <laughs> Don't the be fun a bit. Baby. I need to retail the fun bit. Yeah. We gotta get to First the murder. First you delay it by crying, and now you delay me talking about it because I have oh. to talk about you crying. <sighs> so inconsiderate. Honestly. Like, what was wrong with that person? Click. Surprisingly <laughs> long for a post statement. But everything about the statement is surprisingly long, so that's okay. Um, I did manage to just barely fit it all in one screenshot, though, so. <laughs> He's um, gotta defend his murderous impulses that definitely <laughs> aren't real and definitely don't mean anything. He's fine. <laughs> yep, so true. <laughs> he would never actually kill Mumbo, ignore all the times he's tried. Yeah, obviously. I don't know what you're talking about. Clearly, if I <laughs> wanted to murder Mumbo, I would have succeeded by now, and because I haven't, that means it's nothing. <laughs> Because I haven't succeeded. <laughs> I'm so good at killing people. If I wanted to kill people, I would. Ra I, I sure hope none of my flatmates are for bloopers. <laughs> Click. My god, that sure was a statement full of grim details, you know? <laughs> He's like, wow, I really said it all out, huh? Mm-hmm. He's like, wow. Not the same wow, detail I decided was appropriate. 
And like, you know, he's doing the archivist thing, like reliving it while he reads it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he sat there like, hmm, I remember what that felt like. <laughs> what was that mm. murdering mumble thoughts? Hmm, interesting. <laughs> he's like looking down at his clothes like, huh. I, 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 right, they're not they're not covered in blood. Okay, cool. Moving on. We're not thinking about that. <laughs> Good thing that never happened, huh? Mm-hmm. Click. Why can't I just really become the archivist and then things will just start recording on their own? Click. Every time I say Joe Hills, I am thinking about him like sighing dreaming sighing dreamily and staring at a window. Click. What the sloop? I'm slurping here. <laughs>